We usually think of chemical plants as polluting and smelly, but in my lab at Penn State, we use new chemistry to purify water. Our awareness of the global environmental challenges that have arisen in the last five years have changed the way we think about chemistry, materials, and the environment. During reverse osmosis or nanofiltration, pressure squeezes water through a polymer membrane, leaving salt or other contaminants behind. With one pass through a membrane, ocean water can become drinkable water. In the past, fresh water was easy to find and purify, but with a larger global population and polluted lakes and rivers, purifying enough water for people's daily lives is one of the greatest challenges of the 21st century. Even in the U.S., where we seem to have plenty of fresh water, things will change. We work with the Navy and Army to develop new materials and systems that can purify water from any source. I'm Mike Hickner from the Materials Department at Penn State.